Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Life with Patty, and happy Tea Tuesday, everybody. If you've never joined in to Tea Tuesday, my goodness, we've been doing it for about three or four years now. It is hosted by myself and my sweet friend, Kathy, over at Kathy's Favorite Things. It is an open collab, and you just, the only thing you have to do is upload on Tuesdays, and you can drink whatever you want. I'm having fruit punch with ice tonight. Well, I'm actually recording this on Monday night so I can have it up Tuesday morning for you. Um, but we started out with just tea and then we just decided you could just drink whatever you want and you can talk about or do whatever you want. Um, just upload it all lowercase, hashtag Tea Tuesday and upload on Tuesdays. That's the only catch that we have. And so um, today, I just was going to chat with you a little bit and show you something that I've been working on, but I've been having so, so much fun with this, um, hashtag artisan journal prompt 2024 that I've been hosting. We have about 30 ladies and we have been working out of our artisan journal. Oh, uh, where is mine? It's way over there. I'm not going to get it, but yeah, we have about 30 ladies and Everybody is doing such a fabulous job. We are already on week nine, and the prompt for this week is watercolors, which is a challenge to me as well as to others. And some are like, oh, my favorite. So some were really excited, some were not. But that's the fun part of it is to push ourselves a little more each time and, um, and see what we get. But I've had so much fun with this artisan journals that I started um, a different journal and I've been watching all kinds of different channels, but I watched this one called Twisted Art Designs. She has almost 9,000 subscribers and here she is working on the, I have it on my iPad. But she said, art journal with me, paper dolls and ombre background. So that's her ombre background, but she took a doll out of um, a color book that was a Creative Haven color book. And she, um, hold on, I want to trace, I want to show you guys. I hope you can see this. That is a picture out of a color book from Creative Haven. And she um, traced it on tracing paper. And then she cut all these little different um, pieces of paper and like doily and fabric, all kinds of media and paste it all. Is that not cool? Um, and I wanted to see if at the end, if you could see how she did at the end, cause it's just amazing. There's her pages. Let me see if I can, yeah, I can turn this. Look at her pages. Look at that. Those are from a color book. She made them into paper dolls and then she put them on her artisan journal. Now, how cool is that? I just think that is so cool. So you get so much motivation from all these different wonderful ladies on um, YouTube. And same thing with the artisan journal. I'm getting so much inspiration from all these different ladies on the artisan journal and what they're making. But I started doing a... <clears throat> It's almost like a glue book, I guess it would be called, but it's mostly just cutouts from magazines. And it's just, it's mindless. And it is something that I enjoy to do just to check out, you know, and relax my brain and my body. So this first one came, all these came out of a cookbook, a Naomi Judd cookbook. And I've even started learning that you should save words. So I've even been cutting out of magazines words like fall, gardens, winter. And this one has nutrition, tradition, and celebration. And then even here, I cut out love. And um, I did this background with um, an ink an ink pad and the ink brush, but this was a fun page just for, just for fun. And then I went in and, um, and this is before I saw the, the doll paper doll that she made out of a coloring book, but this is just, um, 
Carvel Magazine and I cut out and I cut out, it says Be Bold and I had some stickers and I just added that. And then same thing on this side, I took a background of a, a cover of a home and gardens for the background here and I cut out the word beauty, cut her out, put a few stickers on there, called it wonderful. And then this one, I actually painted the background with two kinds of pink and white and just kind of and let it dry. And then these pictures came out of a, um, what, it's a Alita Lazavera book, but I thought it was a, a color book when I bought it, but it's her finished art. And I'm like, what am I gonna do with that? I'm just gonna sit it in my bookshelf and never look at it. So I decided to cut some out. So I cut this one out and the wording on the top said fairy fantasy. So I cut that out. And then this was another picture. Isn't that so cool? And I thought the background matched it so well. And then I mosh poshed over this page. So yeah, I already have some more that I'm going to do another page with. I, um, I found this in the garden, one of the garden books. So I'm gonna do those two and then not sure where I'm gonna put her. I think I'm gonna put her down here and a bird up here, but I'm just gonna play around with it. I have some more bird photos. And this was looked like a cool background as well. And so anyways, I've been having fun with that as well. So that's something else I've been doing. And I've been coloring a lot. <laughs> so when I do my completed pages this month, it's going to be a long video. But anyways, it just keeps my mind busy and that's what I enjoy. And so, you know, I come home from work, I have dinner with my husband. We watch usually a program. We're watching the kids baking show right now. Um, the, and it's almost the last week. And so, um, and then the voice starts tonight. Yay! In fact, it starts in 15 minutes, but we DVR'd it. So that'll be something else we'll be watching. But after that, after we eat dinner and we watch a show together, I usually go do the dishes. And then um, I just come back here to the craft room for a little while just to like decompress and, and just kind of relax my mind. So I hope that you guys are all having a great week. And um, stay tuned for all the great videos for the hashtag artisan journal prompt 2024 because everybody's smashing it right out of the ballpark that's all i can say about that because <laughs> they really are it's amazing so i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i shall talk to you later bye bye